free per farm. It's cheap, really easy to build, and it's gonna give you 25 stacks of gunpowder an hour. Okay, here's everything that you're gonna be needing for this creeper farm. You're gonna need two chests, one hopper, one sticky piston. For the redstone, it's really simple. One redstone torch, one lever, one redstone dust, one redstone repeater, one red... No, okay. One carpet of any kind, but of course, I have to go for the red carpet. <laughs> one trident for the trident killer, two water buckets, and this is interesting. You're gonna need anything to spawn proof the roof. So I'm gonna go with torches, but you can go for slabs, you can go for leaves, but it's easier to go for torches because you can like spam them everywhere. And of course, a lot of building blocks. Here are all the materials that you're gonna need for one layer. So you're gonna need three stacks and 33 ice blocks. Make sure it's not packed and it's not blue. A stack and 28 dirt path blocks. But of course, you can just use like dirt blocks and then, you know, path yeah. them up, I guess. 38 trapdoors of any kind, but please don't go for iron. 30 slabs. And this is really weird. You're gonna need two dead bubble coral fan. And finally, three stacks and 33 of any buttons, but please go for wood because it's cheaper and it's more reliable. So let's stop talking and let's get to building. The first step, and it's really important, it's the location. You can actually build this farm in every single biome in the game, except for rivers and mycelium mushroom stuff. But if you want the best rate, I would recommend going for cold oceans or like frozen oceans or a normal ocean like this one. It's also going to be really good. So yeah, once you found your location, aka ocean, you're going to go in deep. And using milling blocks, you're gonna build up until you reach position 150. 150! You're gonna bring out the ice, jump, and place one ice block. Now using ice blocks, you're gonna go on every single direction extended by seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and do it for all four sides. So you're gonna be linking up all of these lines and filling it up with ice so you should end up with a big ice platform. All right, now this is looking pretty nice. Get it, it's like nice and ice and yeah, I need friends. Anyways, now we're gonna be moving to the dirt path blocks. So what you need to do is go back to the middle block and try to go on the edge, but stay on the same block. Once you reach the edge on every single side, you're gonna be placed in one dirt path block just like this. And of course, if you're gonna be using dirt blocks, it's really simple. You're gonna place them and then with the shovel, turn them into path and that's it. Now you're gonna go outside the platform, extend each one of these two blocks by one block and then kind of extend them to make a line around this side only and do it for this side as well. Just like this, now you're gonna go to this block in the middle, place one temporary block and then one next to it and then get rid of the first one. And now I want you to make another line on both sides. And again, add one more line of path blocks. Now, all you have to do is repeat all of these steps that we did on this side on the opposite one. Immaculate. Now we're gonna go on the two sides that have nothing. And all you have to do is make a wall, basically using slabs around it. And you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side as well. So we're gonna go back to our ice platform. We're gonna go to the corner and place your first trapdoor. And now staying on the slab side, what I want you to do is skip two blocks and then place another trapdoor. And again, skip two blocks and place another trapdoor. And now you might be thinking, you know, I'm gonna be doing the same thing, like skipping two blocks and I'm not gonna do the same thing. You're only gonna skip one and then place a trapdoor. Now you're gonna be skipping two blocks again, place a trapdoor and then go on the other corner as well. Now what I want you to do, repeat the same line, but skipping two blocks and then place another one. Just like this, now do it again. But of course, don't place any trapdoors on the path blocks. Now skip one block and repeat the same step. I know it's simple, you're gonna do the same thing that you did on this side, but on this side. We're gonna go back to the ice platform and we're gonna be talking more ice. Ice! You're gonna be placing two temporary blocks, one ice block on top, and make another ice platform on top of this one. Once you're done with the second layer, you're gonna go back in again. You're gonna be placing a button on every single block of this ice roof. Yeah, every single block. Oh yeah, there is also an interesting thing. Whenever you place buttons on top of the path blocks right here, as you can see, they turn back into dirt. It's really weird. But don't worry, all you have to do is basically replace them back with a path block. So yeah, let's get to placing torches. <laughs> okay, I'm back and I place all of the freaking buttons. You're gonna go to this hole right here and you're gonna be placing one dead I forgot the name bumble coral fan right here The reason we do that is really simple. So the creeper is gonna be spawning here. Oh, it's ice. Oh, it's slippery Who likes slippery? I mean, I do but in a different context what do you mean by that? They're gonna try to look for a more stable block. So they're gonna try to go to it, but Anyways, you're gonna look at the ice roof, place one temporary block and another one below it. You're gonna go to every side and you're gonna be looking at the top block that you just placed. Place one trapdoor and close it and do it for the other side as well. And for the bottom one, you're gonna go on the front, place one trapdoor and close it. And then you can get rid of the building blocks. And now you're gonna repeat these two steps that we did on this side on the other one as well. Okay, now we need to talk. See this layer that we did here, like the trapdoors, the buttons, everything, the path blocks, and you know, you're gonna need to build six more layers like this one. Yeah, six. Good luck. Okay, I'm fine done building all of the layers this took a really long time like it was probably one of the hardest things that i've done on this channel 
I'm gonna give you some time to look at it. So you should have seven platforms in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the roof on top with the buttons and everything. I want you to take some solid blocks and place one solid block on top of every single one of these ice blocks on the top platform. Just like this. Now I want you to go to every corner and we're gonna build out using building blocks, seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to the same corner and do the same thing on the other side. And now repeat the same step for every single corner of this top platform. You're gonna go to the corners and do as I'm doing here. You're gonna go to the edge, skip one block and then place one line of blocks. Do the same thing. So skip one block, place another block. So you should end up with this like triangle thing. And you're gonna do it for every single corner. Alrighty, now all you have to do is fill up each one of these like rectangles that you see here with building blocks again. And now we're gonna need to spawn proof it. And I've told you all of the options, but the best one obviously is to just spam some torches. Spam like there is no tomorrow. Just yeah. Okay, I think that was a bit too much. And as you can see, while making the roof, we already got some creepers. And as I told you, they're gonna go to the hole. No, why did he do that? No. Okay, now we're gonna start working on the collection system and everything. So the first thing that you need to do is go below the farm. And you should find your pillar of blocks right here. You're gonna go to the top, break the two top blocks. And now hear me out. You're gonna keep mining until you reach position 127. 127. Okay, now on any side, you're gonna be extending this pillar by three blocks. So one, two, three. You're gonna break this first block and place one hopper going into these three blocks that you just placed. And then get rid of the two next ones. And now we're gonna be placing a double chest. Now you're gonna stand on top of the hopper and on the side opposite to the chest, you're gonna extend it by two blocks. One and two. You're gonna take your sticky piston and place it on this block facing this way. Now go on the right side. You're gonna be placing one block here, one block here, place one temporary block here, one block here and break this temporary block. Okay, that was a lot of blocks, but you're gonna keep going. Place one temporary block here, one block beneath it and break this. Why are the creepers falling? Now for the redstone clock, it's really simple. One lever right here, one redstone torch here at the bottom, one redstone repeater facing that block, but click it once, and one redstone dust right here. And if you did everything correctly, it should be going forward and backward, just like I do to your mom. Anyways, you're gonna click on the lever and place one red carpet or any carpet on top of the hop. Next to the chest, you're gonna be placing two blocks like this. On the left side, extend it by one more block and then place one top slab so now you can get the XP. And I'll take some more solo blocks and I'm gonna be kind of making a pillar. I mean, multiple pillars surrounding this red carpet in the middle. So it should be two blocks tall. Okay, now here, Miyato, you're gonna be looking at the roof and as you can see, the holes are on these two sides right here. So you're gonna be facing into them and going on this block right here, you're gonna extend it into that side by seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you should be exactly beneath that hole over there. Now you're gonna place one temporary block on top and then surround this thing either with glass or building block because it doesn't really matter, but not on this block right here. And you're gonna be breaking it. Now these three blocks right here, you're gonna extend them until you reach the farm on top. So once you did this, you're gonna go to one of the three pillars. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna count three blocks up. One, two, three. And then place one solid block. So one temporary block. Another block next to it. And now do the same thing for this pillar right here. So it should go all the way to the top. I go back to the bottom. And now we're gonna be making some walls, basically, surrounding this little line all the way to here. And on this block right here, you're gonna do the same thing. So extend it. You don't really have to do this, but I like placing blocks here so it looks more even. You're gonna go to the edge here and place one water bucket. If you did everything correctly, it should stop perfectly. Let's go. Now I recommend switching your game mode to peaceful. So all you have to do now is repeat all of these steps that we did for this side on the opposite one. Okay, so this is what you should end up with. Now for the final step. Throw a trident into the carpet. It's better if you use an impaling enchanted trident. It's gonna do more damage. Stand on this block next to the chest and ladies and gentlemen, we're officially done with the farm. Switch your game back to hard mode. Now all you have to do is wait for some creepers to fall. As you can see one just fell down. You're gonna activate the trident killer and that's it. One little disclaimer the farm might be a little slow at first, but but don't worry, it's gonna quickly pick up the pace. As you can see, it's starting to become insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Dude, I might be on the spectrum. Before we end the video, I have an important announcement. I officially started channel memberships. So if you want to support me, you can click the join button below. But of course, you don't have to. I still love you. Uh, bye bye.